Merry Christmas. I was going to just upload one of the contributions instead of doing a full-scale video this Christmas day, but I happened to get up early. The turkey's in the oven. The potatoes and the parsnips have been parboiled and just ready for roasting. I even got some ironing done. So I thought I might as well say hello to you. Now, you guys in the Antipodes, yeah, you'll be well into throwing your eighth shrimp onto the barbie by now. Uh, but I do wish you a Merry Christmas, even if it's over by the time you see this. And you guys in the USA will still be, well, sound asleep, except for those parents still feverishly trying to wrap presents and get them to the kids' bedrooms before they wake up. Uh, but I, I have this poem. It's a rather thoughtful, sad poem. It's not full of Christmas cheer, but it's one of the earliest examples of English poetry that we can more or less understand and relate to. And it's probably speaking about autumn, you know, late November, that sort of thing, rather than Christmas itself. Uh, it's in Middle English. They say it's probably written about the 13, you know, around the early 1300s. And they reckon it was written in Leominster in uh, Hertfordshire. I don't know how they can be so specific about that, but it might be somewhere in there there's a dialect word that was common to that place. It doesn't have to be. For instance, a, um, a student at Oxford who came from Leominster might have... Uh, oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, Oxford was then was around at that time. So it could have been written by somebody from Leominster rather than in Leominster, but um, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Right, so uh, this is the English version of it. There's a, of course, the original Middle English version. So I'm going to read it twice. I'm going to have a stab at the Middle English any of you who are time traveling, time traveling from the 1300s and reckon my pronunciation is all wrong, I do apologize, but I was born somewhat later and you didn't have recording devices at the time. So it's a bit difficult to estimate how you did it. I mean, there's, there's a standard uh, academic idea, but well, you know what I think of standard academic ideas. So first of all, here's the Middle English, all right? Winter, it might be winter as well, uh, you know, they still had some Germanic aspects, but I'm going to say winter. Winter wackeneth all my care, now this leaves waxeth bare. Oft I sick and mourner uh, when it cometh in my thought of this world's joy, how it goth all to naught. I suspect the hit there is the Leominster bit. Okay. No, it is, and no, it nice. You get that? No, it is, no, it nice. We'll do the translation. Also, hit ne'er e wis, that money moth saith, soth hit ye, all goth boat God's will. Allah we shula day that us lick, licke illa. Allah that grain me gra groweth green, no hit falloweth albedeen. Jesu, help that hit be seen, and shield us from hella, for e not wither e shall, ne how longer he dweller. And I'm quite sure that many of you got most of that, but I'm going to say it in English anyway, well, modern English. Winter awakens all my sorrow, now the leaves grow bare. Oft I sigh and mourn sorely when it comes into my thoughts of this world's joy, how it all goes to nothing. Now it is, and now it is not, as if it had never been truly. What many people say, it is the truth. All passes but God's will. We shall all die though it please us ill. All the grass which grows up green, now it fades altogether. 
Yesu, help this to be understood and shield us from hell, for I do not know where I shall go, nor how long I shall dwell here. Now, we've got the meaning there, but the poetry, the rhythm, it's all gone. That's why I don't like watching films that are dubbed into English, even films like, for instance, Japanese films, uh, many of which are uh, very artistic. You know, I'm talking about stuff like Kagamusha and uh, the, the, uh, the Seven Samurai, that sort of thing. But it's much better to read the subtitles than to hear the um, the, um, the, the overdubbing because it doesn't quite fit and that didn't quite fit. Should I read it again in the original? Yep, I think I will. Winter waxeth all my care, now this leavers waxeth bare. Oft I seek and mourners say when it cometh in my thought of this world's joy, how it goeth out to naught. Now it is, and now it nis, also hit ne ne i wis, that money moth saith, soth hit yis, al goth bot God's will, alla we shall a dire, that us liquor ill, al that gren me groweth greener, now hit faileth albedina, Jesu. Help that it be seen her, and shield us from hella, for e not widder, e shall, ne how longer he dweller. All right, it's a thoughtful and sad poem talking about the onset of winter and what looks like death. But we have to remember there's always rebirth in the spring. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Speak to you soon. <laughs>